Hello everyone. Our today's chapter is understanding diversity. If you look at both the words, it is emphasizing on a particular word that is diversity. It may be a new thing for you. What is diversity? First of all, let us know the meaning of the word. Diversity means it is a range of different things. It can be many things, whatever you can see, whatever you can feel, whatever you can think even. Depending on that, diversity is a word that originates. It is actually a Latin word, even it has a French synonym and it is used in English also that we all know. Now, from this uh, diversity in India, what we can see, how, how many types of things are there in India? Diversity in India, based on region, we may live in some different places. In India, there are many states, union territories. Someone can live in mountain, someone may be in the coastal region. But they all are Indian, right? So, based on the region, we can say that they have, are diverse on their location where they are staying. Next, we are coming to religion. Do you know that we practice so many religions throughout the world? Eight major religions which are practiced in the world, all of them have a significant number of practitioners in India also. All these eight major religions we can find in India. We have not only that, we have some other things also. Based on this religion, their way of living also changed and we accepted all of them. So we have a diverse religious practice in India. Next is coming to caste. It is based on religion, definitely. We have different caste in India. What is caste? Caste is something that based on their occupation, on their professional practice, first it was assigned. Now it is depends on their birth. And in India, mostly it is a Hindu majority, as it is a Hindu majority country, what we find that many caste people are living in India. They have their own religious way to live, they have their own food habit, their own cultures, own traditions, but they are the way they are Indian, they are Indian. So here we are united. Caste also differentiate between man to man. Coming to language, in your class you can see how many people, how many students are there, their mother tongues are different. Though they are studying in the same class, same section, they are in the same age group, right? But even then you will find that they are not from the same language background. Maybe some of them came to Delhi, they speak in their Hindi language. Someone came to Kerala they are, when, and they speak in their own mother tongue, Malayalam language. Someone came from West Bengal, they are Bengali. Someone from Orisha, they speak in their mother tongue, Uriya language. So, based on the language also, we can see a huge diversification in our country. Food habit. Your best food, maybe you like it as idli, dosa or upma. But someone who is coming from Punjab may like roti, paratha and his type of food. The people, the students, those who are from northeastern states like Arunachal Pradesh, like Tripura, like Mizoram, they may like something boiled like momo or the boiled noodles, that kind of food. So depending on food habit also, we can find huge diversity in India. Think about them. How many types of food we can even imagine that we, if we give an option, so many types of food items you can name, right? So depending on, on food habit also, we can see a huge diversity in India. Coming to the dress, your mother is fond of wearing sari. Maybe your best friend's mom is specifically like to wear salwar kurtas. It is nothing of their modernity that the way they want to dress, they want to dress like, but it is their upbringing. The way they brought up, the way they have seen their neighborhood, their family, we all opt dress 
our choice of dress from there itself and maybe someone from north india someone from punjab someone from haryana they are more used they they like to wear salwar kurta type of dresses whereas some few people those who are from mostly south or eastern part of part of our country they like to wear sarees depends on the place depends on the re region they live their religion their caste their the way they opt their profession they choose their dresses so in india we can see different type of dresses also which give a diversity of dresses think now just give yourself a brainstorming session think yourself how many different type of kind of diversity apart from the one i discussed here you can find you will find there is many we cannot complete this in a board in a form of a mind map way of thinking actually the main part that controls diversity the, how i think maybe the another person will not think at the same dimension the way you think maybe your best friend is not thinking in the same way so way of thinking also give birth the way of act differently that is diversity let me tell you a story now there was a boy his name was samir yes it is from your textbook samir was a poor boy who used to sell newspaper in the uh, road crossing signal crossing and our his mother tongue was hindi and he uh, he, can, he can understand uh, hindi only now other languages because that is the way they he uh, is comfortable in his family background also they speak their mother tongue is hindi one day this boy eventually met another boy his name is also samir so now onwards we'll uh, to call the first one as uh, samir a and the second one as samir do now this samir the second samir he is from a rich background rich family background he is studying in a school high fi international school and naturally in your cbsc board he is also a student of cbsc board naturally he knows hindi but at the same time hindi is a second language and his main language the one the first language he is learning in his school that is english samir naturally this samir he is more comfortable uh, talking in speaking in english though his mother tongue is different his mother tongue is the local the place he lives that is his mother tongue now both of them eventually they meet together they share their thoughts and they find that they can be good friends of the same age group one has no education at all even he cannot understand what is second language and how this boy learned hindi so well to write to speak yeah, and to understand hindi so well the second one he has the first uh, boy has no idea even how he has done that he never heard all those terms like second language third language he knows only one thing the way he can communicate with the language whatever he learned from his mother his mother tongue and with his mother tongue only he is managing his work now every day these two boys used to meet the rich samir he is uh, used to come to the signal to buy a newspaper in the newspaper from this poor boy and both of them used to chit chat for some time now all of a sudden one day this first boy came back running and he said that he has to go back go back to his own native place and uh, the second boy naturally she he was already he was that what happened why you want to go back the answer was very sad one you know there was a religious riot in mirat this boy the first one though his name was samir he was a muslim boy muslim boy and he was very much uh, worried for his own community when there was a religious riot between two communities then definitely one or other in both the communities people the general common people they are getting disturbed this boy he has to go back to his mother mother place to his land where what he called as mirat he has to go back there and to be with his community this boy was surprised the second one he was from a hindu family he was very much surprised now from this story 
they never met again that is the end of the story the boy went back to meerut and this boy was here they never met again they never even this boy he though sometimes used to come to see look for his friend that whether he is back from meerut or not but he never came back that is the end of the story what we find here what type of diversity we can find in the story the language was different though they started community in a common language that is hindi their ways of living was different one from a very poor background and one from a very rich background another thing we can find there that diversity we can see there that their way of living this first boy was a poor uh one who used to vend a newspaper vendor used to sell newspaper on the road side his way of living he from this age he never even thought about going to a school though they were of the same age and he started selling his newspapers for to earn his livelihood the other one is a very from a very rich background and his parents are rich enough to provide him enough money to provide him education can we find so many types of diversity here their religion was different one was muslim another one was hindu so religion was different their religious practice was different their way of living is different their the way they uh, opt for one for uh, occupation to for his livelihood another one is a student that is also different these all are the measurement of diversity in a story we can find so many diversified thing think about your life think about your friends life though both of you are coming to a very good school you are getting the same type of education compare both of you you will get so many points of diversity in your own life also that was a story i shared with you now let us see in india what all type of diversity we can find we choose two places one is from a mountain area and one is from the coastal region we choose ladakh and kerala to discuss with you ladakh is a let us start with ladakh ladakh is a mountain area it is a mountain desert we see do you know what is mountain desert mountain desert is nothing where the mountain areas are not getting rainfall at all what will be the result it is very cold without rainfall so hardly people those who live in ladakh the ladakh is they can live on agriculture as they don't have any rainfall it is a desert area agriculture is not the way the means of their livelihood now what they do the next option is herding animals they have they know that the woolens as it is a very cold place in the himalayan region it is a cold mountain desert so they know that the woolen will be in a great demand so they herd sheep from these animals they are getting they domesticate all those animals and they are getting enough quantity of wool pash pasham we call it this pasham is sold in some places some traders of jammu and kashmir and this kashmiris and cap uh, kashmiris they know how to make kashmiri shawls yes it is a famous item not only in india but in international market also so using this pashams using this wools which they are getting from the ships they are earning money they are selling it to the kashmiri traders and this kashmiri traders they are making pashmina shawls and they they uh, like uh, they earn a lot of money the share of that money from these traders this poor people from ladakh they are usually getting how can be their lifestyle it's very cold i told you not that much of trees not that much of agriculture in that place so they, they depend on transportation of food and as it is in the mountain area you can easily guess even the transportation facility is not that good so they have to depend on the people those who are going down to the plains of valleys of kashmir or in jammu or other places to sell out their product as well as to buy their livelihood from those places they uh, domesticate some of the animals like uh, mountain goat or yak you know that right yak 
that those type of mountain animals and obviously ships from whom they are getting oils. Now, is that the only thing they can do? Luckily, Ladakh is situated in a place which is in the trade route. You remember Silk Road, the way Chinese people, the traders, they are getting their trading material to India and then from here to the Middle East. Luckily, Ladakh is on, the, on one of the trade route which is connecting Tibet and India. As it is in that trade route, they are getting some of the trading items from the traders also and as well as they can sell some of their products to these traders also. So that is the way they manage their livelihood. How can be a school in Ladakh? Imagine that. Think about that. A school in Ladakh mostly closed entirely in the winter season. You cannot think even about that. You think your summer vacation time is summer vacation for all. But it is not at all true. Do you know that this Ladakhi student, they mostly utilize this summer time for their studies. There are an, a quite a small number of school we can find in that place. And students, they never have this type of school bus facility as you are enjoying here in the cities. They need to walk a lot. They need to uh, like go from one place to another to reach their school. They need to start very early in the morning that they can reach in the school. Facilities are very limited. No internet connection. Maybe some of the very remote places in the places they have their school. Even unfortunately they don't have that number of teachers also. But from there the students are utilizing the climatic favorable uh, situations like the where the summer season winter is mostly closed for them learning about ladakh till now what you have learned we have learned that ladakh is a mountain desert area we have learned that mainly trading is the main profession main occupation for their livelihood what they do they cut ships wool and they are selling it in the market which market they are selling it in the Kashmiri market in the Kashmir. Mostly Kashmiri traders, they are looking for this Pashmina wools. Their food style is completely different. They like to eat some mostly the non-vegetarian food as agriculture is not that much popular as an option of livelihood there. It is not possible as it is a mountain desert. They are lucky to have a trade route from Ladakh to India and in the, from, from uh, Tibet to India and this Ladakh is called as a mini Tibet. And they are getting some of their required material from uh, these people like spice, like some of the agricultural, other agricultural products from these traders as well as they are selling some of their own homemade thing, maybe amount of wool and all to these people, to these traders also. But I told you about the school system, schooling system. Yes, summer is the main time when the students are learning a lot and winter is very cold. So all the schools are closed. Very small school, small children, small group of children, they are only blessed with the schooling facility. So that is about Ladakh. Let's come to Kerala. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.